All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. You can apply filters to only a range of frames or in certain times uh, by going to video filters. Selecting your filter. I'm going to use the MSU cartoonize filter again and just show you what it does. It's kind of really obvious. Uh, this is my screen capture. It made it sort of into like a drawing looking thing. So it's pretty obvious when the filter is in effect. Um, let me apply it to a range of frames now. I'm going to use a new option called blend uh, in the filters. I just go down to blend and it's going to add B in brackets right next to the filter name. I click OK. And now if you notice uh, my video doesn't process the effect. Uh, I need to go to view curve editor and let's say okay the video is at 28 seconds right now let's say I want the effect to last from 28 seconds to 30 35 seconds uh, 28 seconds is actually frame 852 and again I'm with the curves curve editor selected uh, and you can see the red line of where exactly I am now let me make the filter come in uh, as you can see I have MSU cartoonizer filter selected make sure you have it as blend mode or else it won't show up in this list and I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna shift click inside the box right where I want it to come in I'm gonna shift click the bottom and I'm gonna shift click the top that means the filters effect was at zero it was 0% applied and then it goes up to 100% applied at exactly 8.52 uh, which is 28 seconds so if I move a little forward in the frames I can see that it's applied if I move a little back uh, to where it's before at 8.52 it's gonna be normal so I can see where it comes in exactly now I'm going to make it last until 35 seconds. So I'm just going to scroll with the little scrolly thing to 35 seconds. And here I am. And it's at frame 1051. I'm going to go again to where it says 1051. It's where the red line is. And I'm going to say click the, the top, shift click the top to make a little square and then shift click the bottom that means the filter was at 100 percent as you can see by this line and then I made it go down to zero percent so it's not applied at all when it goes to the bottom if you messed up and added too many dots here and there you can delete them by control clicking them and make the little boxes disappear but with that said I now have added my filter to only a range of frames from second uh, from second 28 to 35 and let's see if it works let me go back to uh, 28 seconds and I'll go ahead and play it a little bit for before 28 seconds okay here we go and it applied the filter and then after at 35 seconds it's gonna take off the filters effect it's taking a little longer because it's kind of slow to process it. <laughs> okay, the filter lost its effect right there. It stopped. And again, if I go back, I can see it's starting right here. And then going all the way to where it ends right here anyways thanks for listening you can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com if you like my videos please subscribe anyways thanks for listening <laughs>